Are they gone? I believe they're gone. Phew, that was stressful. You're telling me. Somebody has finally come to take Poppy away. I didn't expect anyone to be doing that at all. A human? There ain't been a human down here in forever. Yeah. Do you guys think they're going to figure out a way out? It is possible. Maybe we should try and follow them. Follow them? If Poppy realizes we're alive, she'll be pissed at us. The only reason we stay in this stupid room is to hide from the experiment 1001. That kid's annoying. But everyone, we won't need to stay in this room anymore if we can go free out of this factory. Boogie Bot's got a point. I suppose. But what happens if Poppy and that human guy find out? What's the worst they're going to do? Oh, Poppy's going to be so upset that we just ignored her for all these years. I've had that ball thrown in my face so many times. Hmm. I feel like we should go follow them. Like I said, they may be our only ticket out of here. All right, but expect me to pull out the sympathy card in the instance that they find us out. That human guy's a little scary, and I can't imagine what Poppy would tell him to do to us. All right, guys, let's go. I swear I get more and more confused about this place the further we walk into it. Kid, do you know where we came from to get to your playroom? Mm, not really. Sometimes I just like to wander around, and then I eventually find my way back to my playroom. <sighs> Great. I never realized how big this place was. I feel like this whole thing's moved around since I last was here. Hmm. Maybe we could go talk to Huggy. Talk to him? Oh no, kid, I am not talking to that freak. You literally tried to kill us. I can put up with your innocence to stop you from jumping off the bridge, but I am not jumping after you. That's a lot of words you just said that I don't really understand. Ugh, I'm going to save you from danger, but I'm not going to blindly follow you into it. That Tuggy guy's a freaking monster. Rich, that's so mean. I don't feel sorry for him. He tried to kill us for, like, apparently no reason. I have no idea why he chose to do that. Uh-oh, you might not want to be mean to Huggy too loud. Why? Oh, shit. Uh, maybe we should go the other way. Oh, wait for me! Huh? The hell was that? Eh, uh, bunch of nonsense. <sighs> Looking good, ain't you, Huggy? The best toy around, they said. Always have been, always will be. No matter what those blokes upstairs decide, oh, factory's closed. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm my dumb grab pack. I'm gonna drop a box on your head. <laughs> stupid guy. Oh, I'm sure one of the others has gotten to him by now. Mommy, catnap. Mm. They were always more cut out for that kind of thing than I was anyway. <sighs> Kissy. Kissy. Where's breakfast? Get out of you. Go get that woman. Hey, Kissy. Wake up! Uh, oh. Oh, hey, Huggy. What do you want? I'm hungry. Where the hell is breakfast? Oh, I thought I told you last night. I was trying to go down to the pit and get more food. However, you were stuck under a box. It took you almost two hours to get you out from under that bloody thing. How did you even manage to get yourself stuck under there anyway? Uh, it fell. Uh-huh. It fell. How do you know I'm lying? Because you're too stupid to be that lucky that it would just happen to fall on you. Ah, ah, come on, woman. I'll give you the old one, too. Let me at him. Let me at him. Ow! Come on, you act like I ain't been through this before. <laughs> Who in the hell is that? That's Kissy Missy, Huggy's girlfriend. Oh, right, Kissy, the pink one. Wait, I thought they were siblings. No, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. Huh, that's an interesting creative decision. They don't seem to be very in love. What are you talking about? They love each other. Are you sure? They seem very angry at each other at the moment. Well, sometimes they're really happy with each other, usually. And then other times they get in really loud arguments, and then they get into fights, and I get a little scared sometimes. That's what we call an abusive relationship, dearie. Oh. What's abusive? I have a lot to teach you. <laughs> ah! You're so awful, you never treat me right! You've never acted right! <laughs> I'm the star of the show, the kid's favorite toy, you're just a pale imitation. If you don't want to get around me, get that out of my face. Fine! See how much you miss me. 
Doesn't matter anyway, you'll come crawling back to me by the end of the evening. We're right through this time, you know! Sure. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. I can't help but feel bad for her. Should we go help Kissy? She seemed really upset. She's normally really nice. All right, come on, kid. Let's go around and find her. Oh, thank you, Rich. Don't mention it. Stupid Kissy. She doesn't realize how much I matter. I keep the lights on in this place. I'm the reason this goddamn place is still functional. She doesn't get it. None of them do. They're all just frauds. Can you say anything? No. I don't know. Huggy seems really upset. Uh -huh. ah. Ah. Who knocked down my cutout? What the hell? Uh, uh, hey, Huggy. How's it going? If it is it Bron the Brontosaurus, I ain't seen you in quite a long time. Uh, yeah. Last time I seen you was... 20... I don't know. I can't do math. Yeah, it's because you're a stupid little Pontosaurus. So, what brings you to my presence? I was just checking it out. I heard you and Kissy arguing. You guys don't argue ever like that. Ha! We don't ever argue. It really has been a long time since you last seen me. Things have changed, Bron. Changed for the worse. What is he even talking about? I don't know. It seems we have lost the attacker of Rich. This is aggravating. Yes, I don't know where he went. Ah! Put all your bleeding little friends right in front of me, eh? So, what are you all coming to seek me for? Guidance? Explanations? Um, sir, we are simply trying to find our way out of here. Where are you planning on going? Oh, uh, well, that human guy seemed to know how to leave. Human guy. Wait. You've seen the human? Great job, you idiot! Oh! So, the human's still here. I thought 1001 would have gotten to him by now. Interesting, he's playing the long game this time around. Last time somebody came up and checked on the place, well, didn't end too well for him. Uh, we've been hiding from 1001 for a while. Figures as much, since he started, you know, protruding the upper levels. You all wouldn't last a second out there without someone big and strong to protect you. You know, a bigger body, to say the least. Erm, what are you suggesting? Well, I'm simply suggesting maybe you all need some kind of omnipotent guidance. Someone the prototype wouldn't like to mess with. Oh, yes, yeah, someone the prototype wouldn't like to mess with. Oh, I really wish we had somebody like that. Too bad there's nobody here. Yeah, the prototype's so strong. There's nobody you wouldn't want to mess with. Everyone around here is just too weak. It's me, you budgerin' idiots! I could have picked up on that. Huggy, you're not acting the same. Normally you used to be all nice and jolly. Why are you so... hasty? Nah, shut up. We ain't seen each other for eons. You don't know what I'm like. Now, you four need protection, and I need me an army. An army? What the four? See, my mistress ran off on me again. Bleeding girl doesn't understand a thing to save a life. I just need to show her how great I am, how powerful I am, and then she'll be right back on me doorstep. So, let's say you help me get back my girl, and in exchange, I'll protect you all if the little prototype ever shows his grubby little fingers around here again. Sounds like a plan? Mm, I mean, it is a good offer. We do need protection from the prototype. Are we calling him by his nickname now? Of course! Who cares what we call him? We've got Huggy Wuggy to protect us! Hmm. I like this plan, but under one condition. We cannot encounter Poppy and the human. I fear that Poppy may get very angry with us when she realizes we've been lying to her this whole time. Eh? What's the green guy talking about? Oh, to stay hidden from the prototype, we have been hiding in Poppy's room and pretending we're inanimate objects. Why don't you just, like, talk to her? Because she's an annoying, stupid child, that's why! Huh. It's a little cruel, doesn't it? Whatever. I don't make the rules, and I never cared for Ludwig's little brat anyway. Come on, let's go find the missus. We have a protector now. Hooray! We are not going to be eaten or sacrificed. Yay!
I think we should bring this. I haven't seen Kissy in a long time. I almost forgot what she looked like. She's, she's literally just a pink huggy with eyelashes. I don't know how you could have forgotten that. Just hoggy again. I can't take it anymore. He's just not the same man I knew. But what's different about Huggy? I thought he was always pretty nice. I mean, sure, before he was. Even if our relationship was company mandated. I can't lie. He was always pretty nice to me. But, I don't know. Ever since the factory closed, something changed. It's like he's missing something. It's made him into an ass. Hey, could you keep the swearing to a minimum around the kid? What? what? Who are you? Name's Richard. Pleasure to meet you. Ah! Oh. Come on, now shake it. What? I don't get it. Yeah, really, like shaking my hand at... Sorry, I thought it'd be a funny party trick. Anyway, name's Richard. Uh, and you must be Kissy Missy. Yeah, that's me. What are you doing in here? There hasn't been a human in this factory for a long, long time. Well, I, uh, I used to work here, uh, quit right before the factory closed. And then I got this strange letter in the mail. Recognize this at all? Uh, no. I have no idea. It's a shame. I was hoping one of the monsters kept the mailroom in operation. Hey, we're not monsters. That's rude, you know. Yeah, Rich, that's not nice. Monsters aren't like Kissy. What the hell was your boyfriend doing to me then? Because he had big, sharp, scary teeth and was chasing me down a hallway. Might as well call him our ex at this freaking point. But we're not monsters. We're just misunderstood. Could you elaborate on that? Because I don't really know what you mean by that. It's a lot to explain, and I can't really recall a lot of it. It was a long time ago. It's starting to feel like this is how things have always been. All I really know is that we were created here, and this has just been life. It's been rough, but it's all we really know. All right. Well, tell you the truth, Kissy, we were kind of spying on you earlier, and we saw your big fight with Mr. Huggy Wuggy. Ugh, you two are real snoopers, aren't you? I'm sorry, Kissy, but we ran into Huggy, and I was just worried. You guys don't fight like that. I don't know where you've been, dearie, because that's been going on for quite some time now. Well, we wanted to at least try and assist you comfort you, help you patch it up, help you break off forever. I don't really know what you want. In the end, I'm trying to find an exit, and an enemy of an enemy is my friend. And you know, I'm not too fond of Huggy Wuggy. I dropped a big box on his head. It was kind of funny. <gasps> that was you? <laughs> oh my god! I knew you were too stupid to have that just accidentally fall on him. <laughs> oh, that's rich. That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> oh my god! You really are funny, aren't you? Shucks. Alright, we're getting off topic. Look, I've been to the island of misfit toys for about a day now. I just want to figure out what the hell's going on here. Because, while part of me does want to just hightail it out of here with the kid, clearly you guys need help. And whoever sent me this is still remained to be seen. So I gotta find out who the heck that is, too. And, well, becoming friends with you guys is a start. So, Kissy Missy, how do we, uh, fix this whole thing between you and your boyfriend? Sorry, X, for the time being. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if the next 30 seconds he just showed up with some grandiose act, trying to prove to me he's the great Huggy Wuggy. 
It's an act that's worked on me far more than I'd like to admit. He's good at being grander than he really is. Well, Kissy, if you really don't like Huggy, then, I mean, I don't see why you can't just leave him. I don't know either, Poppy. I don't know either. You're a good kid. Need more people like you in this world. <gasps> what? Ah! <laughs> well, if it isn't the human. Huggy! Ah, it seems you'd be hitting on me girlfriend now, ain't ya? Best you crush me with a box and then you try taking me girl. Why do you just ruin everything you walk across? Whoa, was that supposed to be an insult? Because one, you're just telling me I'm better than you? What do you mean? Thanks. And second of all, I am not into your girlfriend. She's nice, but she's also a living toy. Ah, shut up! You don't want to mess with the great, powerful, famous, popular Huggy Waggy now, do ya? Messed with you once and it ended up pretty well for me, I'll be honest. Huggy, stop fighting! Ah, shut up, you little brat. Hey, that's mean! If I smile at you, I don't care! You're smiling. It means I don't care. <laughs> wow, Huggy, you stooped low enough to make a child cry. This isn't winning me back at all. So whatever! Call me minions! Uh, what the? Huggy, this is exactly what we told you not to do! I don't care! This is more important! Oh, pink Huggy Wuggy! It's Kissy Missy, Bron. It's Kissy Missy. Oh, so where have you all been? I haven't seen you in forever. Wait a minute, I saw you all... I mean, okay, I saw a separate boogie bot when I first got here, but I saw you all in Poppy's room. You were inanimate objects. You guys couldn't move. Why are you just walking now? Uh, my friends! Oh, she loses attention quick, doesn't she? Hi, guys! I missed you! Mm, my ears. That's so pleasant. I'm so happy you guys are moving again! You guys haven't moved in forever! Mm-hmm. Yep. W were you guys just faking being, like, dead j just so you could lie to her? W what's your problem? Have you listened to her ear-grating voice? She's like a five-year-old! What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter at all, because we can play now! Get off of me! Ow! Huh? What's wrong, guys? <sighs> There's a lot of third-party trauma in here. You're telling me. Wait, why am I agreeing with you? Okay, you can agree with me and still not like me. Yeah, and I never will. Come on, babe, look at all this I started. Doesn't it just show how much influence I have over other people? I'm so popular and famous. I'm on my resurgence tour. Huggy Wuggy's back in bigger than ever. Why do you think I care about that stuff anyway? I never cared about how famous you were, you idiot. Sounds like you're projecting all your problems onto me. What's this? <laughs> Stupid. Dude, this factory closed 10 years ago and you're still holding on to a fading relevancy. I don't think a single child has thought about you in the last four years. I'm just saying, man, don't shoot the messenger. This was shooting the messenger. Ah, oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, Rich. Do you, do you guys not like me? Well, um, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> Oh god, let's bail out of here. Huggy only used us for his own personal gang. He wasn't gonna protect us. He led us right to the human. Can't believe we were tricked. It's four versus one. If one zero zero one wants to come after us, then he best do it himself. Why didn't you call him by his nickname? Because I really don't want him to come fight us. <sighs> Bye, Poppy. Uh, here, you could have this picture of Kissy, if you want. Or Pink Huggy Wuggy. I think Pink Huggy Wuggy would have been a better name. <laughs> I'm gonna watch your eyes go wide and your skin go pale. I can get off of him. Oh, yeah. 
Ludwig's little brat. What in the ever-loving hell do you think you're all gonna do about it? Uh, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah. I've got an idea. Kissy! What? Go grab all the toys. Grab them together. Uh, I've got an idea. Uh, all right. Come here, you lot! <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, like this? Uh. Yep. <laughs> you have no power. You're just a stupid child. You faded into obscurity the moment you were made. I own this company. All right, now let go. <laughs> I'm going to be a distraction. Huh? What? Oh dear. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, take that. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy! Hey, hey, hey! Kid, kid, it's all right. It's okay. Hey, kid, kid, come here, come here. It's all right. We beat the bullies. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you anymore. But, but, what if all the stuff that you said about me is right? What if I am just a stupid, annoying kid? <laughs> Hey, Poppy. You're not. I know that. Me and me and Kissy know that. You're not a bad person. You're just surrounded by bad people. But me and Kissy like you. You're not a monster. You're just misunderstood. Really? Of course. Look, you've had bad things happen to you, but you got time to get away from it all, and you gotta remember that there's good things right in front of you, right? Thank you, Rich. I'm sorry, kid. You're welcome. You really care about this kid, don't you? Well, I've always had a soft spot for kids. It's why I stayed at Playtime Co. I signed up here as an intern, but I don't know, I just being able to put a smile on kids' faces made me happy, and I didn't see a reason to leave until I was fired, but, you know. Yeah. Um, I might accompany you two on your journey, you know? You guys helped me out against Huggy and all, so I figured it's the least I could do, and, well... This little bundle of joy needs a bigger sister to take care of her, right? Really, Kissy? You do that? Hey. What are friends for? <laughs> Thanks, Kissy. You're welcome, darling. All right, let's get the hell out of here before they wake up. I have a feeling they're not going to be too happy with us. You've got a point there. Whee! <laughs> All right, come on, dearie. <laughs> Ah. Oh. I didn't think I had bones, but oh, I feel like all of them are broken. Oh, My stupid toys have knocked out. You slip things, stupid bugs, worms. It's really over, isn't it? Me and her. Whatever. I don't need her. I don't need anybody. She just doesn't understand what I've been through. Okay. Number one video toy for ten years straight. What? One zero zero six? It's been a long time. I see. Take it. Oh, yes. Your intellect. Um, but it, it, 
Yes, sir. I, I, I'm just... I, I'm, I, I've been down in the dumps a bit lately. I, I, a rough patch, you know. Slump, slump, slump. I know it. Yeah, I know it. This factory... It hasn't been in operation for the last decade. I'm, I'm, I'm aware, sir. What about it? Well... This new recent... Activity... Inside this rocket... Reward. A, a, reward, a reward for what? You will know that in time. Okay, Bobby. How comes from the deep in the hearts of your unfortunate 